Hello, everybody. Um, it's very good to see so many people joining us today for our presentation. Um, so please come in, have a seat if there are still two seats available here. Um, otherwise, just keep standing. Um, so we had last week already presentations about chemical recycling, about upcycling, about solvent-based recycling. And also today, we will have a very informative speech about mechanical recycling. And maybe you wondered already, but we have a lot of this film in this corner over there. And uh, we have two persons here today who invited and they were ready to give a speech for us and tell us what the tool here, this uh, nice uh, vacuum cleaner has to do with this kind of film. And for this, I'm very happy to present both of you. So um, we have a Dr. Kylie Koenig from Südpark. She's a business development manager for external compounds. I mean, Südpark is usually known as a film producer, multi-layer films for food, pharmaceutical, um, or pharma applications. Um, and we have Dr. Michael Koh. He is head of materials engineering from Vorwerk, the company who is uh, providing that kind of stuff. Company, um, yeah, Vorwerk household appliances. Everybody knows somebody who has uh, vacuum cleaners or any other crazy stuff. So um, you will give us an insight about what mechanical recycling can do. And I think I hand over to Kylie. All right. Thank you very much for the nice introduction um, and thanks for having us as well. So um, today we want to talk about sustainable compound solutions for premium household appliances together with our project partner Vorwerk. Um, so they are going to tell a little bit more about the functions of the vacuum cleaner that we are presenting. Um, but let me start off with why Südpark as a film producer is actually doing mechanical recycling and what we are doing in the compounding business. So Zupac, as said, is known as a, um, yeah, as a film producer. We have a portfolio that includes films for um, technical solutions, foods, and medical applications. We are still a family-owned company. We are located in the south of Germany, in Ochsenhausen. It's between Biberach um, and Memmingen. Some would say close to Stuttgart, but I guess that's not totally right. <laughs> um, we have 1,700 employees. Um, and we want to provide the best product for the best possible price and we do some, a lot of internal recycling already, but I come to this a little bit later. So what we provide as a technology to produce high value films is, we do all um, blown film extrusion, cast film extrusion, um, we emulate, we do printing and also the back production. And compounding is for us like an additional, um, like an additional topic because like I said, we want to do internal recycling. We want to bring back some of our, for example, trimming edges back to our films, but to give so the right properties to bring those back, we need to do um, yeah, mechanical recycling and compounding. So sustainability is part of our DNA, and we want to close loops. So like I said, we want to bring out, so we have waste streams that we can directly um, integrate into our films. Um, but there are some materials that we're not directly putting back into them. So we have to do some mechanical recycling, have to compound them, have to add additives so that we can bring back into our films. But there are some leftovers which we cannot yet bring back to our films, or we have to still do some development. So with those that's leftovers, we wanted to do something different, something not bringing them into, yeah, don't burn them, don't waste this material. Because it's really clean, it's coming from a food production, um, we sorted off the recipe, so you know all the mechanical properties to it. So we wanted to do something else. So we used this material as a base material for our compounds that we are offering to the external market, for example, um, for injection molding, and in this example for um, yeah, household appliances, so for the vacuum cleaner here. Additionally, what we want to do at Zupac is that we want to close loop with our customers. And as we are still in the, in the food packaging, this is still our core business, um, we want to also bring back um, materials that we are selling for the films. But those materials would be most likely be contaminated by, for example, meat or cheese um, contaminants. So to bring this back, we also go the loop via chemical recycling. 
Um, we have a company so um, with which we work together. This is the company called Carbolic. They also have a booth in Hall 6, so if you're more interested in the chemical recycling part, um, you're more than welcome to drop by there. Um, so that we overall have two possibilities, and we see those, those parts as, yeah, they are going with each other, next, not next to each other. Um, so this is kind of what we do at Zoot Park. So to, to do the, the mechanical recycling, we built it up a competence center in Schwenny. This is located 15 kilometers from our headquarters, um, where we have, two, um, have four regranulation lines and two Coperion twin screw extruders to do our high value products, which we are selling for the compounding. Um, we have um, different options um, for gravimatic dosing, so we can do fluids, um, powders, and pellets. Um, we do have underwater pelletization, and we have different packaging options. So what are we actually offering um, now is sustainable compound solutions based on our post-industrial materials, but we're not limited to those materials. So we're also looking into biopolymers, for example, and like I said, in the end, we want to also get back our chemical polymers that we might get some, sometimes later over the chemical recycling. Um, with that, we do the additivation. We offer unfilled fill compounds with different functional uh, properties it's all pretty customer driven. So normally a customer is coming to us and wants a certain product, a more sustainable product, and, and says, okay, I want a certain amount of recycled material and it needs special functionality, and we are developing this to a customer demand. Um, so all compounds go into extrusion, um, in injection molding, and also blow molding, and we sure um, yeah, develop also for our internal use um, for our firm's recipes. Um, what we also would offer is some toy compounding and with this recycling center we have also the possibility to take some back some waste material and for example regrind it in our facility. So what are our current markets? So um, we are part of the looking into consumer goods so we develop for example um, a compound in the hygiene field which is more going into the um, direction of uh, toothbrushes for example. Um, we are going for the packaging goods as we are producing films for packaging. Um, we are doing the household, so this is one of the examples in the household. We do a lot of in the automotive industry, so in the interior parts, this is also something because the automotive industry is also looking for more recycled material. Um, furniture and building construction would be also something what we do. So coming um, to the, the compound that we to the, want to present today. So we developed the compound for this front part from the front brush in front of this. Um, and we had some, I would say, challenges um, that we wanted to overcome. So for example, this compound is more scratch resistant than the, the virgin material. We are using our um, high quality um, mechanical recycled uh, PIR material. So, um, like I said, it's traceable, it's really sought after recipe, um, it's transparent, so as you see, you have a uh, yeah, really signal white color, and what is always known from recycled materials is it's more easy to go into gray and black, but not in a, I would say, signal white color. Um, also, our compounds are ISCC Plus um, certified, so um, after mass balance, you would get a certificate out of it that we always provide the same um, kind of amount of material. Um, additionally, um, we have 40% of the recycling material, which comes to a carbon uh, footprint reduction of more than 35%. So this is kind of um, what we wanted to show. Um, so if you're looking for sustainable compound solutions, we are ready to help. Um, I don't want them to over you, um, and you will go more for why you choose the super compound, and we're really happy <laughs> to do more projects together with Coperion and, and you from Torbeck. So. <laughs> yes, thank you for this nice talk, Kaldi. So I would like to hand over and um, yeah, first of all, thank you for attendance here at this afternoon at uh, the K Trade Fair. My name is Michael, as already said, and I would like to present you a bit of the, the cooperation between Südpark and why we choose that super compound or whatever you call it <laughs> right now. So. Um, maybe you've heard about Vorwerk, at least for the advisors who are standing in front of your door and ringing a bit, so you want to buy a vacuum cleaner, but I think these days are a bit over. And um, 
most of you know Forwerk from these vacuum cleaners, from your grandparents, whatever, or at least from the Thermomix, which was uh, a hype starting in 2040. So um, I just would like to present you a bit the facts and figures of, of Forwerk. Maybe you've heard, heard about the, the Thermomix, the Cobalt, and also Nita Robotics. Yeah, we have, it's a well-situated uh, company at the moment, so we have our own bank. And um, at the moment, we are hiring uh, 58,000 self-employed sales advisors uh, who are running around the world and selling our products. We had a turnover about, uh, doesn't work, so about 3 billion, so which is quite nice for household appliances at the moment. And uh, we are dealing with these uh, products uh, worldwide. The, the headquarters and the research and development is located here near Cologne. It's in Wuppertal, where we are also producing our products, not only developing. And then we are selling it and producing it in France uh, worldwide and also in China, where some of the uh, vacuum cleaner parts are produced. Yeah, as I already said, we are very proud that we are, uh, are able to produce the most of our plastic parts here in Germany, in Wuppertal. Also the VK7, which is the actual or brand new vacuum cleaner. We are already started our selling activities in Italy and now in the rest of Europe in, in the beginning of October. So we are able to present it here very openly. And also the Thermomix uh, is produced and inspected and assembled in the in our uh, sites in France and Germany. Yeah, well, the sustainable activities of Vorwerk, what means this? We are able to offer long uh, resistance, uh, resistant products. Um, the durability of our products is very well known, so I think most of you know about 40 years old vacuum cleaners still running, so this is one part of durability activities as well. But. Then our CEO asks us, how, what can we do for a more sustainable activities? Could you think about the plastics, the, the polymers to, to improve that a bit? So then we had several discussions how to achieve more sustainable uh, parts, more recycled parts, and then there were huge discussions, how could we achieve white plastic parts in a sustainable way. And then we always had this trouble with the stripes and streaks and cracked dots on, on, the, on the white surface. So it was a challenge. And then I think Hendrik, our CEO, also was who, who connected us with the suit pack and they provided us these transparent films. So I would like to give you a bit more an insight how we choose at the end um, the, the material for this new vacuum cleaner. Maybe you haven't seen it or some functionality of it. I'm not sure if the film starts automatically. I don't think so. It should be noisy. It isn't? Okay. <laughs> then then we will, I will can I present you the, the, the functionality of this device later on. Ah, here we are. <laughs> Also recycled materials in the back. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Uh, just to have an insight, not only the, 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 the wet cleaning system is made out of recycled system, also the handle, which you can see at the Mocom booth, and uh, also the filter right now. So the functionality of this device is just to clean and suck your your floor at the same time and um, therefore it was also important to have a very resistant material to have this, the long durability of the, of the product. Well, what was the, the discussion? We would like to reduce the carbon dioxide emissions in total, so by using, instead of an ABS, for instance, a polypropylene, which also able, enables you to reduce the carbon footprint. Then by, u by using a recycled material as well with uh, recycled content up to 40%, as Kylie already said, we are able to offer for our customers a more sustainable uh, product, which is reducing the carbon two emissions of more than 35%. So this was the basic introduction in the material selection. Then we tested this in our application labs. 
And then we said, wow, nice, even the scratch resistance was improved slightly, as you can see here. How we did it, it's basically done by just uh, some sort of a hardness test by a linear antenna, which is uh, running on the surface. And then we compared and then said, the recycled material is even better. It was the first time uh, using recycled material. Usually you have a, a softer touch or whatever it is. This we want to avoid. And then the most important thing was the white color. So we had so many trials achieving a white color. And if you look here at this device, we have polypropylene, we have ABS, we have polyamide, all in the same white color. And we had a discussion with our designer as well. So why did you that? So we, from the material department, then we decided to achieve a recycled, to, 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 to buy a recycled material also in white color. And you see no difference between the, the ABS and the polyamide, even for the recycled material, which was for us the, the, the thing to say, okay, we go with suit pack. Yeah, and then we had also regular shape of granules, which is very important for our production, that they can con produce continuously, as well as the constant MFI, just an example, which was achieved by the very constant quality of the foils um, Kylie already presented. Yeah, and here we are. Thank you for the attendance. You can also come in front and just have a look on these parts. We have several parts uh, here as well. You can grab some if you like. And then I would like to thank you to your audience and also thank you to Südpark and Coparium for having us here. Thank you for your attendance. So thank you both, Kylie and Michael, very good presentation and I wouldn't have expected such a high content of recyclates in this really nice looking vacuum cleaner and maybe also for you if you open your eyes and you look a little bit further inside, maybe there is a lot more recycling coming up in the future and we don't even realize it. So thanks again and uh, for all those who have a little bit of time, we have now a wine and cheese session, so grab a glass of wine or grab some cheese, talk a little bit if you have question, uh, questions to both of uh, Kali and, and Michael, please go ahead and otherwise I wish you a good day and a nice walk on the exhibition. Thank you.